Welcome to Perky Penny Paper Arts. What's today? First of all, I have a new microphone. Let me know how I sound. And um, let's see, what was it? How I sound and can't think straight. Well, if you can hear me at all, I guess that's what I want to know. <laughs> oh. How's everybody doing today? Okay. So we're live. We're waiting for people to come online. Let me know when you get here. Let's see here. Um, okay, good. Looks good. It's always good when your stream looks good. Hey, Laquita. How you doing? There we go. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, of course you can hear me because the microphone's on. Oh, that's what's wrong. I can hear me on. Okay, now I turned it off on my phone, so I can't hear it. How's everybody doing today? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. I was uh, stretching my brain, thinking, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I show you today that's fun and interesting? And I found something, and it's this card right here. Oh, let me move my keyboard. Excuse me. We gotta figure out a place for that keyboard. Now, let me pronounce your name. Is it Lise or is it L? It's not Lice. Is it Lies or how do you pronounce your name? Or Lisa? And maybe, well, no, you wouldn't have misspelled it. <laughs> or I didn't think you misspelled it, but you know what I mean chat wise oh that's what I need one more thing from the this 
one of my favorite stamp sets. Lisa, okay. Because it says L-I-S-E, so I was mixed up. I'm sorry. I thought Lies was a weird name, <laughs> as you can well imagine. Let's see here. I need a margarita glass. Oh, is it? Oh, that's interesting. Cool. I like different spellings of names. Okay. So, today, we're going to make this card here. It's a pop-up card. It goes in an envelope like this. It's an A2 size card. And then it pops up like this. Okay, now I'll, I'll give you a little reminder. If your settings seem a bit slow, what you can, do, let me see how you can do it here. I don't know how to do it on the phone. Oh yeah, there's the three dots up in the right corner. Um, and you can go quality and press 720. And then um, it should make you be able to see the picture better. Thank you. I really like it. It's cute. I remember when somebody asked me if they could buy it from me and I wouldn't let them because I thought it was, I just, I wasn't so in love with it. Anyway, so today though, instead of making a martini, we're gonna, it's Margarita Friday. That sound good? And if you don't drink, it can be a virgin margarita. I don't judge. So I would probably, I actually don't drink that much. So. But I still think it's cute. And the idea of getting together with friends, you know, especially nowadays, means a lot. So that's where I'm coming from. Can I ask you ladies how I sound because I'm on a new microphone? Laquita, you've been watching me this last week. Is it better or worse? Do I need to turn the volume up? Because like last night we're, when we were on the stream, my mom and dad couldn't hear me. And so, I mean, I know they're far away, but... <laughs> Still, it was, I, my mom was having the trouble with her iPad the day before, but um, I really want mom and dad to be able to hear too. So let me know if you can hear okay by typing, because I can't hear you clearly. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish, I mean, I think it would be fun to do like a, um, one of those, what do they call them? Now I can't think of the word. Oh, I had a little... That's weird. Okay, great. Good. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. Hey, Penny! Shh. Penny? Penny got excited. Yeah, see, so you now I'll show you the big, huge microphone that I'm using now. <laughs> it's this big, huge thing. It better sound good, right? So, anyway. It's pretty too, isn't it? I love the color. Oh, sorry. It seems... Is it laggy? Maybe not. Anyway, I'm glad it sounds better. That's awesome. Oh, well. All of us are having internet challenges nowadays. I bought, like, the biggest plan because I stream. My son streams. My spouse has to do those Zoom meeting calls, you know, and um, the three of us at the same time is like you, you go to do one of those speed tests on your Internet. And it's like zero, zero. There's just no speed. It's all used up. So, you know, I have my challenges sometimes, too. The guy's coming tomorrow to fix it. We hope. So anyway, what are we going to do today? We're going to make a uh, margarita shaker card just like this except not so this one we have this pretty paper and it was a martini it's supposed to be more elegant so today I need to find some fun paper that we would have at a restaurant like a Mexican restaurant doesn't have to be a Mexican restaurant I guess but you know fun colorful things like that so, let me see here. I should have looked this 
up beforehand, but I forgot, of course. You know how it goes. Actually, <laughs> this is pretty. This is that same paper pad I was using last night. Here it is. Have Faith, that's what it's called. And they have this black paper. Wouldn't that be pretty? That would be very pretty. And we could make a um, blue martini. I like that. <laughs> is that a thing? I don't know if a blue martini is a thing. Okay, so we'll use that for our um, tablecloth, as I like to call it. And, well, actually, wait a minute here. The only problem is that, well, we don't have to do it this same exact way. We can do it close. Then we need a martini. Okay, I wanted to do a blue martini. That's not very pretty. Maybe we do a green martini. Hmm. I like some of the greens. Hmm. Let me think here. We could do that. Oh, there was that little check. That's a nice little pattern. What about this? I think that's a pretty pattern. Or is that too busy? No, that's cute. Hmm. I'm trying to decide. Actually, you know what? I kind of really like this. <laughs> I like the monotone look. With, you know, sim the simpler look. Okay, so that's that. So we have, this is going to be for our tray. This is our, um, what's that thing called? tablecloth is what I like to call it which is the front of the card and then this is going to be our beverage although basic it is the same color as what we did before that's kind of boring isn't it okay we're switching sorry I know I'm indecisive hmm I want to be different how about pink polka dots I kind of like that We're going to do pink polka dots. Yeah, that's cute. Well, what would a pink margarita... Oh, a strawberry margarita. That's what it could be. And I have strawberries, too. <laughs> so we've got our paper for our card. Then we're going to need strawberries to put on the top of our margarita, don't we? Just one second here. Let me remember where the strawberries are. Oh, I know where they are. I had to remember which stamp set they were in. They were in a lawn fawn stamp set. Da, 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 da. Sorry about this. strawberry so okay can't find the strawberry okay well, let's see here. Maybe it's over here. Shoot. Okay. Nope. Hmm. No strawberries. 
strawberry. Oh well. Would have been cute. <laughs> okay. So. Sorry about that. Off on a tangent. Hi, Carol. Hi, Hadassah. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, I was uh, looking for my strawberry stamp, but I... Oh, wait, maybe it's there. But I can't find it. No, that's the swans. Oh, well. I couldn't find my strawberry stamp. Unless it's over here. You know how it is. You get the, this idea. Oh, I must do it this exact way. I'm one of those. Hmm. Nope. Okay. That's okay. We don't need a strawberry. We just need some straws or something. Okay. So this is the card we're making together, ladies. And let me see here. Um, I hope it sounds better, you guys. I uh, have my um, spouse's fancy work microphone. So... Anyway, Ooh. my drink, something is causing, let's see here, a shadow. I'm trying to think where the shadow is coming from. Let's see if that helps. Yay, okay, no more shadow. This is my goodie box. All right, put that there. Okay. Did we have fun last night? I had fun last night. I really like those cards I made. Um, does anyone uh, want to see the cards we made last night? Let me know. I'd be happy to show you. They were pretty. They turned out really pretty. I was looking at them this morning and I was like, oh, they're so pretty. Um, and actually, it, they inspired me. I went out and bought, I went to the post office and I bought two books of stamps. And if you ladies would like... I would love to send you one of those cards or one, you know, not maybe one of those exact cards, but I'm going to make some more because they're so fun to make. And um, so, yeah, if you want a little bit later, I'll get, um, I'll tell you how you can send me your address and I'll send you a card because it would be fun. And I'll show you just a minute. And I'll show you the cards for those who weren't here last night. Sorry. Okay. Let's see. These We made five cards last night. We made this card. I can't see. I gotta wait. There's a little bit of a delay. Even though it says excellent condition. Oh, you know what? Oh, no. I meant to put normal latency. Okay, I'm sorry if it doesn't, if it's a little bit slow. It, it, so we have that one. We have this one. We have this one, which is real similar, but different. And then we have this one. And so, yes. What I'll, um, what I will do is I will, um, at the end of the stream, I'll tell you how, how I can get your information and, um, oh, good, Carol, that's good to hear. Um, and your favorite colors, and I will make you a card to send you because that would make me happy. Okay. And you know what nowadays, isn't it good to do something that makes you happy? We all have to do that. So, next, let's die cut our, let's start with die cutting these few pieces. I got this, since it's a margarita, so this one was a um, martini, and it was, look, it's even dusty, that's funny. It needs to go through the dishwasher. <laughs> so, anyway, um, so, I um, made this out of a on a silver tray because this was more of an elegant ladies afternoon get get together well this is more like a friday night get together at a bar so i've got this i've got a prettier um shaped tray which is actually well let me show you the set it's actually a stamp and die set from alt new called framed i don't know if it's still available i can look and see if it's still available 
or you can look and see whichever um so we got we're gonna put this on and send it through sorry about the noise then get this ready oh this is gonna go in here We will make it a blue martini and a pink glass. How about that? That'd be cute. Okay. Sorry, my die cutter is like behind me. Or behind my computer, which is right there. <laughs> okay. So we have our tray. I'll show you how I'll make that into a tray later. Okay, actually we're going to cut a few more of those for the tray effect as it were. Let me get some, hmm. I'm just going to get some craft cardstock, I'll just find some here. Okay, this is the Lawn Fawn Craft cardstock. Really, really good card. One, this is like my favorite cardstock because it's really heavyweight. And I like to do a lot of things where you fold and such, so you don't want to have it tear when you make creases on it. So I'm going to cut out. Three more. Or should I do? Yeah, three more. And the reason I'm doing it in the craft cardstock, I, I I don't know if you noticed, but I used this wood grain cardstock to cut out the actual top piece that'll show. But that tends to be a little bit pricey. So I think that this makes for a good underlayer to pop it up. Now, we could use foam. We're going to use foam on the oh actually we don't have to use foam on the shaker card I forgot but because I've got a shaker pouch where's my shaker pouch here it is it's hard to see so I have the shaker pouch so we don't have to use the foam like we usually do I really love these shaker pouches they make it so easy so I'm gonna just do a few extra of the, these I'm actually not gonna use the center I'll probably just save the center because I think it'd be nice to use it behind sentiments. I love it. There are only two absolutes in life, girlfriends and vodka. <laughs> I would say taxes. <laughs> Death and taxes. Isn't that what the two things in life? That's what I thought. Anyway. So we're going to cut one, two, I apologize, I could have gotten this done ahead of time and not had to have you listen to my machine, but it's been a busy morning. I was actually able to get into the actual grocery store, which hasn't happened for me in about two weeks because... I have bad knees and so I can't stand in line at the grocery store and that there's always we only have like one grocery store here it's called HEB well there's multiple um, multiple locations but there's only like two close to my house anyway so there was always a line and I was like I'm not standing in line so I'd go to Target and just get what I could well, today I got in the grocery store so I actually got some carrots and not that I can't get carrots at Target but not the same ones 
So anyway, okay, one more of these. And actually what I'll do is I'm gonna line up, I'll do one more of these. And I'll do this at the same time. And then our die cutting will be done. Where'd my purple tape go? Hmm, I just had the purple tape, where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, this purple tape, I use it all the time. Okay. Let's see now. Okay. Now that I seem to have all the kinks worked out, I'm going to start trying to get in a more of a groove and my goal is to be on at least Monday through Friday and then I'm gonna try to figure out I really liked last night um, I went on at 8 30 until about 10 I think it was and a bunch of the ladies were here but what's kind of funny about that yeah right all oh, the first time oh wow good for you Carol to be able to stay away that long I have a 23-year-old son in here at home, and he eats me out of house and home, <laughs> you know? So I feel like I have to go shopping every... Actually, I don't go on the weekends at all. Um, I only go on the weekdays. And, uh, yeah, I just do what I can, you know? You know? Okay, I'm going to need some more. So then I've got my pretty little... Um, margarita glass then let's see I wonder if it's symmetrical let's see I love the symmetry symmetry is a good thing it is symmetrical okay good so I can do another one and then put that behind it and then I'm gonna do one out of a heavier cardstock so it stands up better it's more protected because this is a pretty lightweight. I think it's probably like 65 pound. So that's not very heavy. Even if you double it up, it's not very heavy. Why don't we just do, we'll just do it in this. Why not? It kind of looks, you won't, probably won't be able to see it very much anyway. Now, where did I get these dies? Does, these dies are from My Favorite Things. And they also have the pouches as well. And it's not too expensive an adventure to purchase them. Oh, you lost the connection? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I guess I don't know if that was me or you. <laughs> I'm sorry you lost the connection, but I'm so happy you're back. Hasada. Do I say your name right? I hope I say your name right, because I certainly hope I plan to. That's my hope. Okay. So then we have that done. Now, you might be asking me how... This is normally, okay, so let me, let me move this away and then let's clean the mess up and then I'll explain what I'm thinking about right now. Okay, so we have all of our dies, put that there, we have our thing. So these are made to create a shaker card, right? So typically what you would do is you would fit this over the, fit the outside, the frame over the shaker element and put it on a card like this, right? And so then this is where you don't need any um, adhesive or anything. 
And if you look, let's see here, can you see? It's not very, it's not very thick. So it's also a nice thin presentation for when you're putting it in an envelope. So I had to finagle. I was like, okay, well, how am I going to make this so it's see-through, like a glass, right? Oh, somebody's crying. It's not in my house. It's next door. Okay, so, so what I came up with is pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Just get a piece of acetate like this. And I just have acetate to do my it's something. It's a it's a necessary requirement for what I do. And I'm just gonna cut. I'm gonna hand cut the shape. Okay, so I'm just gonna follow it around like so. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I remember what I did. <laughs> it's been a year since I made that other car. I'm gonna wait until I have it filled up. Let's fill it up first. So we'll set that aside for a minute. We'll make our shaker element first. Now we have our shaker card, our shaker element. We got our backing. Next thing we need is something to put in it. And I was going to put a green, I was going to make it a green card. Let me see. Mm. Is that better? Can you see it better that way? Let me see on the picture. Okay. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, what we're going to do, then we have our, our um, sequence. So, we're going to look at the colors. I want the colors. I'm a, I'm all about it looking cohesive, you know. So that's where I'm coming from in this respect. Oh, I'm doing it. So let's see here. I wanted to make a blue. It's going to be inside that color. Well, let's see here. There we go. it upside down so we can kind of see how it looks there okay so let's see here we've got oh those are cute I like these little ones yeah that's a good color Hi, Denise. How are you? Oh, great. I hope you've liked them. I've been having fun. I'm getting to use all these things that I didn't get to use before, which is very satisfying. Okay, so now I'm just pulling in my little beverage sequence. Let's call them that. Now, I think somewhere, do I have, let me look, I'll have to look, I thought I had ice cubes, but it doesn't look like I do, well, maybe I do, hmm. let's see here, oh, I do, look at that, these are so adorable, wait till you see this. These are also from my favorite things. They're little ice cubes. How cute are those for inside your shakers? <laughs> so, I'm going to see if these show up. I think it'd be cute if they did. I think they would. Okay. These aren't something you use a ton of them. You use a few, you know. Yeah, that looks cute. I'm going to do a little bit of... Um... Yeah, these are all my goodies to go in shakers. I'll share more with you another day. 
can't, can't give you all my secrets all at once, right? Okay, so let me just put it a little bit more. The worst part about this is it's almost like you only have like one shot at it, you know? And you got to get it right the first time. But you know, it's okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, thank you. Actually, this is like one case. <laughs> I'm a I'm a little bit of a shaker nerd. I have a lot of a lot of sequins, and I don't even make. I should make more sequin more, more shaker cards for the number of. Um, and look, oh, this one isn't that. Some of them. I even started this thing once where I numbered them all, and I was making recipes. So that's kind of fun to do. So that you remember, you know, the different ones. Now, let's see here. I think that covers that. Now, we've got to put some adhesive around it. So what we're going to do for the adhesive, if we can find it, is I want to use 8th inch. Hmm, do I want to use 8th inch score type? You know, no, I want to use... I'm going to use the liquid glue. We're going to hope that it works out. Sometimes the liquid glue is good. Sometimes it's not so good. We'll see. In this circumstance, we should be okay. Let me just make sure how it is over there. Okay, good. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to put glue around. And I'm going to try to go for the outside edge. as much as possible so it doesn't uh, spill into the cavity if you get my drift it's like frosting a cake almost I used to always watch the ladies at the grocery store frost the cakes. Remember back in the day? Or was it only at McGlynn's in Minnesota? I can't imagine. It's too fascinating to not share it with the public. Okay, so we got that. Then what we'll do is we will put it over the top. So. Sticks right away, which is kind of nice. And yeah, it looks pretty awful right now, doesn't it? But it won't look awful forever. Trust me. So we're going to leave that for a second and let it dry up. And then we can cut it out when we're ready. So let's make our card base for now while that dries. Oh no, let's make our tray. Since we've got our glue out, we've got a couple things we need to do. First, we can start by attaching one of the margarita glasses to this craft piece. And that's so that it can be a nice sturdy, uh, what's it called, base. I'm trying not to say um and ah, Tell me if I'm at least halfway successful. Instead, I'm trying to hesitate just a little bit to think about more what I want to say. Okay. So now see, it's already a little bit sturdier. And then once we back it up with this other one, it'll be really sturdy. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to put together our uh, tray. It's going to be a cute little tray. I thought this gave, would give it like an old world kind of charm. I, I, I think about things like, where would this tray be sitting? <laughs> you know what I mean? So. 
I know. I have too much time on my hands. Or it seems that way sometimes. But it's just the way my brain works. So, let's see. What could we talk? Oh, does anybody have any requests of things you would like to see me create? Give me some challenges. I love challenges. I love exploring new techniques or finding techniques to do certain things. If you're looking for a way to make something in particular, you know, um, just let me know because that is my wheelhouse. I love that. Okay, now don't all type at once. <laughs> Uh, no. I hope you're enjoying, enjoying the watch, enjoying the view. It's so nice to not necessarily be sitting there by yourself. I find us card makers tend to be very lonely people. And we're not all introverts. I, I know lots of card makers are introverts. I am not an introvert. So please don't hold that against me. I own it. Okay. So what this will do by adding these layers, now when I go to create the, when I go to put it on the card, it'll give that little bit of an indent, you know, it'll be sitting down like so, rather than being straight up on the card or flat on the card, excuse me. Okay, so we did that. Now, I think they're about the same size, so the card will be about the same size. So it is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. Go figure. Okay, so I'm going to card base. Four and a quarter, that's eight and a half inches long. Okay. I'm going to score it at four and a quarter. Can you see it? Oh, you can't see it. Well, I'm saying four and a quarter, so you get it. Okay. Fold it over and push it down. Crease it real well with my bone folder. Okay, so then we will take our paper and we will cut that into four and a quarter by four and a quarter. and a quarter because I want it to be that it covers the whole piece since it's a tablecloth you know okay let's see okay get some tape oh I like that too that's cute <laughs> Oh, that's what I was going to do. Oh, okay. So I resisted on the art glitter glue for a long time. And I regret it because I really do love it. Um, I still use dotted tape runner on something like this because I want to be able to make sure it's straight and everything. And I can do that and if it's not I can pull it up and everything if I've got this I can kind of do it with this but not so much and in addition to that if you put if you by chance put too much 
you um, sometimes can see the line and I don't like that. So I just feel like I'll just use the dot. I always, what I do is whenever I go to Michael's or Joanne's, I just use my coupon and buy, actually, you know what? I take that back. Whenever I go to Michael's, not Joanne's, because Michael's, Joanne's tends to mark things up above the suggested retail. And so, but then also Michael's does it too on certain things. And so I'll go to whichever one has it lowest and then I'll use my coupon on it. <laughs> so it's like almost to say, I'm driving by, I'm going to get my stuff. My favorite cards are interactive cards too. Oh, you know, like, let's see here. I do have the reveal wheel die. I could do a reveal wheel card. That'd be fun. I also have, oh, what I, oh, let me show you. Uh, when I'm done with this one, I'll show you. Oh, well, just one second. While we're still waiting for this to dry, let me run and get this other one. I'll show you another video I did recently. I don't know if you've heard of the magic spinner or magic spinner. What's it called? Now I don't remember what it's called. It's not a spinner. A re I know it's not a reveal wheel either. <laughs> what is it? Let me see. Just a second. I can't remember the name. Why can't I remember? <laughs> I'm being hard on myself, but jeez, should be right around here. Let's see here. One, two. Hmm. What is it? It's the one with the sausages. Does anybody know? Oh, here it is. I can't remember what it's called. Here it is. It's this one right here. It's this one right here with the sausages. Anyway, so that's the die set. And let me show you what I created from it. Oh, that's right, the Magic Iris card. So this is what I used the Magic Iris card for. Isn't it? I love the little, the little um, box ladybug is to die for so cute isn't it so then what i did is i put it on a jar of jelly beans in this instance but you could do it for a lot of things and i put it on the jar and i swear like okay so the reveal wheel is fun and everything like that but it, it doesn't even hold a candle to how e it's complicated compared to this this is so easy to put together. I would like to do a card though, because all I've done so far with this is uh, is this is this jar thing, because I, I thought of this and I was like, that's so cool, nobody thought of that. I'm gonna do that for Easter. And so yeah, so then you just can put out and you get just a few jelly beans. It, it, it uh, regulates your number of jelly beans, which is kind of nice. So I did the ladybug one, and this one I just painted the, was this painted? Wait a minute. Yeah, I believe this one was painted. I did three. I did one that was painted, one for the, there's a video, just so you know. There's one that's painted, one that I colored with Copic markers. And then this other one, I had some washi tape. This was the first one I did. And look at the ducky, isn't it cute? I love that ducky. So you just pull it off. And again, same thing. And this one has some red ones left. Hmm. Okay, anyway, so that's what I did with that. I also think you could do it to make like a piggy bank or something like that. That would be neat as well. 
I tried cutting it out of acetate, but my acetate was too thick to be able to do it out of something plastic. So I'm looking into things to do that. Anyway, back to our card. That helps me a lot. It is a diet aid, exactly. I love jelly beans. Mm. Anyway, so now that it's all adhered and it's started to dry, I'm just going to cut around the edge like so. Isn't that the easiest shaker card to make? It's so simple. And I don't know what you shaker cards are awesome, but I just don't need to spend that much time on it. If it, if there's a way to do it faster, why not, right? That's my attitude. Okay. So there we have our little martini with the with the ice cubes in it. <laughs> Now it looks kind of yucky right now because all we see is the um, glue around the edge, which will dry clear, but it takes a little time. Oh, I'm going to have to trim this off a little bit more. I didn't get it right at the edge. Okay, let's see here. It just seems to be a oh, I just sorry. So you can trim this down quite a bit actually, but before it you'll because it's all going to be hidden behind this base or what do you call mask? I guess mask for lack of a better term, right? How did I make? Oh, that's the um, tiny gift box die from um, uh, Lawn Fawn. I'll show you in a second. I've got a whole, I have all of those because I just love them so much. Okay. So next, we're gonna put some glue on the outside now, like so. That's my clock, if you can hear the music playing. Well, it's not my clock. It's our clock. <laughs> my spouse actually got it for Christmas, I think it was, one year. Okay. A little stickage, but that's okay. I think it's fine. Well, let me see. And then, last... Oh. Okay, so then we also need another little piece of acetate. Let me get that. Where is it? Here it is. So then the next next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little strip of acetate that's no wider than the stem of the glass. Well, you know, the bottom of the stem, not that real skinny part. Okay. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be exact. So I'm going to just trim this up. Try to get some straight lines going on. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this to the inside of the back side of the glass. And I'm going to just put some glue here and attach it. And I'm going to hold that together for a second. Okay, where's my glass? Where's my... <laughs> 
Okay. Okay. I had to remind myself how I did this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this piece off right about here. I actually cut it too long. We have two pieces of acetate, I forgot. Okay, now we're going to put adhesive in the on the inside. Oops, oops. I'm trying not to make a mess, but you know how it goes. Best laid plans and everything. And then we're going to layer those up together. Just get the little bit of, there's a little bit of glue on the front. We can wash that up later, but <laughs> get it, wash it up. Oh, I have the wine glass die too. Where is it? Oh, it's up there. I have the wine glass, the martini, and this, and then I have a rattle, which I think is super cute for a baby card. Okay. And I think you can do a sun... Oh, there's a flower, too. You could turn the rattle into a flower, or you could just do a flower. Okay, so we have that. Then we're going to bend it at the bottom. And see, now it makes like a little... And it won't stand because it's heavy, but that's where the other piece of acetate comes in. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to decide where we're going to place this on the picture. So I think we want it to be no taller. We want it to be this wide because that's the, that's the, the width of a card, a regular card. But we don't want to go above, we have like an inch and a quarter to play with. So we have up to about this line right right there. And if you look at the bottom of the scissors. So what I'm going to do is that should be just fine to put it there like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this off of here. I can move it over just a smidge. Oh, there we go. This is not an exact science, and I have my switchblade here, if you want to call it that. And I'm going to make a little cut in my tray. What's nice about doing this on the glass is it goes right through, and it doesn't scratch the glass or anything. Then we're going to take our piece of acetate and we're going to see if, oh, no, I need a little bit longer. Just a smidge. Okay. So then we're going to, okay, so now we have our drink standing up on the tray but we don't but and you see it does stand up but we want it to be able to stay and pop up so this is where the next bit is well we'll figure that out in a second but in the meantime we're going to decide which way we want it to go so i want it to go a little bit like this and i think that will work i'm going to double check again four and a quarter Right about there. Let's see here. Well, let's see here. Four and a quarter. One, two, three, four and a quarter. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to want to position it right kind of in the center, actually. And so we're going to do a couple different things. First, we're going to just glue this piece down, like so. And we'll get that a minute to dry, and while that's drying, 
we're going to decide where we want to put this. So we're going to have this like so. Because we need to put this on first because this won't go over it. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Let's see here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put it like this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up a bit, put some glue, and then adhere it down. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to go underneath right because it's a dark paper i can't like draw any pencils on it'll be hard to see a pencil mark so it's just easier to do this okay so we got that now you asked about the art glitter glue what i really like about the art glitter glue is in circumstances like this you don't see it once it dries you don't even know you have glue there and i've just had a lot of different circumstances where the other glues will end up looking shiny and things like that and you just don't, it just doesn't happen with this. And I think it's that it's a really thin glue and you use the really small tip. So you're not using as much glue. You know what I mean? So it's pretty good. Okay. So the next thing we got to do is we're going to put some glue on the back of our tray. Like so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And we're going to fit this inside. And we can kind of ah, close this up. We need a edge, a little bit of a sharper edge, so we can kind of put it in, you know, and have it be pressed down. Remember, oh, I know what it'll do. Wait a minute. Oh, that'll work. It's always cool to see how you can use different tools, right? So this is just one of those little styluses and that works perfectly. In fact, I'm going to just push it around all the way and it kind of gives a nice little indent as well, which is kind of nice. Okay, so see now we have our card and it's kind of standing up. Let's see then, next. Ah. Okay, so the next thing we need is another piece of acetate. This is gonna be a longer strip and I'm going to cut this one to be nice and straight with my paper trimmer. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's too thick. Okay, let's see. Let's do it a little bit thinner. So we'll do it right on... We're going to do it right here on the quarter inch line. I'm lining it up with this line right there. Let's see how that looks. That is perfect. Good enough for anything. <laughs> I don't know. Good enough for government work. I don't know what that means even. But you know what I mean. Okay, I'm going to put these over here for now. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to score it. Because we want to be able to fold and crease it, you know. Uh, so we'll just use our little stylus here. And we're going to score it every, and I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to say every inch is what we're going to do. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, 
and six. I actually think there's seven inches there. That keeps happening. Just the right number. Then I'm going to create a zigzag by folding it one way, then folding it back, and then forward again, and back, and forward, and you get the drift. Okay, so now I have like this little spring made out of acetate, which is a really good material if you want things to be feel sturdier. So then the next thing, which is one of the last things to do, besides put sentiments on, is I'm going to attach this to the back of this card. <laughs> now there's a couple different ways you could do it. I didn't do it this way, but you could actually do it underneath the piece of paper. I'm not going to worry about it because it really doesn't show up too much. Once the dry, once the glue dries, it won't, you won't see it so much. I'll make sure to flatten it out, you know, so that the glue disappears as it were. See, you can barely see it, but there's glue there. And we'll push it down. And then we'll just clean up the sides. See, you can barely see it there. Okay, so now we got to figure this out. So now we have a little stand to go behind our margarita and it doesn't fall down. So now let's see here. The other thing we would want to do is maybe put some little decoration on it or something. Let me see what I have here. No, not a dragon. <laughs> um, let me think here. Uh, where'd my pen go? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, I, I don't like how it buckles the paper. That's just not cool. Now this will do it if you put on too much, but start off with a very, very small amount. And that part that's part of the other problem with the glue is that um, people use too much, unfortunately, you know? And so, yeah. Oh, salt and a straw, good one. A straw, hmm, let me think here. I think, do I have a straw? Oh, salt is easy. Okay, salt. We got salt. Let me see here. Let me see if I can open it. Maybe not here. Okay, don't have salt there. <laughs> Maybe here. Yeah, this is brand new. I like using um, this glimmer paste. Where is it? What is it? Let me look. Glimmer. Oh, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> glimmer paste. Uh oh. Oh, that's plastic. <laughs> I was like, wait, it's not working. That's plastic. It's just I didn't pull the cover off. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this. We'll do this part first because it has to dry, so it takes a little time. Okay. And I tell you what, when I do have margaritas, you got to have lots of salt. On the rocks with salt. That's my margarita. And just a regular old margarita. We have a place here that makes them from scratch. No mix, you know, just lemons and triple sec and oh, so yummy. I highly recommend the recipe. The Joy of Cooking has beverage recipes, and it's they have a recipe of how to make a margarita from scratch. There we go. There's our salt. <laughs> oh, great. 
That's one of the things. You just sometimes, you know, <laughs> it's hard to know when to stop. Okay, so there's that. Let me wash off my thing real quick. Always better to wash them off fast. Because then you can just put them back in the pencil holder and till next time, you know. And then put on the cap really tight because... And I'm luckily, the other one was almost used up, so that's why I didn't have very much in there. Okay, so we have that. Now we need a straw. How did I do the straw? Oh, I'm trying to think here. I think it would be funny. To... I could do like that. Oh, really, Joanne? <laughs> Okay, so we could do something like this for straws. Actually, that's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, I got the straws. But let me see here. I need to cut these uh, skewers. I have a bunch of these skewers just sitting around. And I use them for all kinds of things, as you can see. Largely, I use them to um, for flower stems. I like using them for flower stems. Okay, this looks like it's like um, bamboo straws or something. That's cute. Okay. And then we'll do that. Let's trim it. I don't know why. I just want to trim it a little bit. If I can. I probably can't actually. Okay. And so now we're going to, now we don't want to put it, anything sticky here where you can see it. So we're going to want to just do it at the end down here and behind the rim. But we're going to wait a minute and see how dry that gets while we work on a sentiment for it. See, I did for this one, I did, you're just a teeny bit older. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. So. For this one, being that it's a uh, lemon, or lemon, I got lemon on the brain. It's a martini. Um, sip, sip, hooray. That's cute. If life gives you limes, make margaritas. Well, this isn't a lime margarita, so. I guess, well, it's like a, like, blue margarita. Couldn't. I don't know how you can justify that as being, <laughs> I guess I don't have to, right? It's, um, it's, uh, what do you call it? It's artistic license. That's the word. Okay. Just making sure everything's working. See how it'll fold down? See, that's pretty cool, huh? Oh, that's where we're going to have a problem with these. Hmm. Because once we fold it, let's see how we can do this, that it's still the right height. Let me go. I got to go down here. Sorry. So that's four and a quarter. That's five and a quarter. So then I've got until up here. So where the, the straws are going to go over here like this. This is how it dictates it. You know what I mean? Which is fine. I think that looks cute. So, just to make sure that we've got, we can fit it in its uh, space. Okay, so let's see here. May your spirits be spiked. These sentiments are so funny. Drinks are on me. I kind of like sip, sip, hooray. I think that's funny. It's cute. And it's just like, I just like cards to celebrate life, not specific occasions. Uh, specific occasions are fine. I, you know, who doesn't love a birthday card, right? On their birthday, but, but, um, oh, I'm so thirsty. I'm sorry. I'm talked out here. I wish I had a lemon and, or a strawberry. I, oh, wait, maybe I have one strawberry. That'd be funny. But if there was one just laying around over here on the table. Let's see. Oh, look, there it is. I have one strawberry. Let's see what else do I have. I got cute stickers and things. Um, 
Look at that, one baby strawberry. I'm trying to think, there was a lemonade set from Lawn Han years ago. Let me see if I can find that. I don't know if that has a lemon on it, but that would be cute. So I have a lemon and I have a watermelon. Hmm. Let's see. Isn't the fun in the details? I think the fun's in the details. Okay. We need to have a little sentiment at the top. So we're going to heat emboss it. Look, did everybody get to see the little strawberry? see the teeny tiny so I found this teeny tiny strawberry somewhere on the floor and I don't know what it went to I can guess but I thought it was funny that I just had one little strawberry and I put it on the dining room table and it just kept being in the dining room table and I was like oh this is cool I'll use it one day for something and here we go here we are okay so I'm going to cut this in half Let's see here. Nothing like a good sturdy piece of vellum, right? And then let's just worry about that in a second. Mm -hmm. Change of heart. Cut it in half again. I know it's so cute, isn't it? The little strawberry. It's from a, there's a Froyo set or something. So I just don't know where it is. I can't remember. I'm sure it's here somewhere. <laughs> you know how it goes. Oh, wait. There's a... Oh, I know where it is. Wait a second. make and take I did at an art center over here so anyway it'll, it'll show up right I always do okay so we're gonna put this down in here and we're gonna line up our stamp sip sip hooray super cute I'm gonna center it up there now I need my Let's see where it is. We'll just use some of this today just to be quick. If you don't know what this is for, it's so that um, nothing else sticks to it because I'm gonna put a very sticky ink down that I want the embossing powder to attach to, but I don't want it to attach anywhere else on this piece of cardstock. Then I'm going to get my sticky ink, my Versamark, and ink it up. And okay. And then I'm going to put I'm going to move this over because I don't want it. I don't like it when embossing powder gets all over my misty, you know? 
I'm going to use this Lawn Fawn Rose Gold um, embossing powder. Couldn't think of the word. Just a second. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to get this, whoop, <laughs> ah, the beauty of a piece of paper, right? Now you know why I had the piece of paper. Let's see, so we'll put that back over there, and then we will heat set this real quick. I love this embossing powder. Now, when you're heat embossing um, on vellum, look at how I lift it up. When it starts getting too hot, I don't want to bend the paper, you know? So I'm just doing this and I'm looking at it to see if it's set up. And it is set up. Let's see if you can see that. Can you see that? It's so pretty. There. Okay. Okay. Now we'll give it a second to kind of cool down. Well, that works perfect. Then we will trim it up. with our paper trimmer. I'm gonna start by cutting a little bit off the bottom. Not there. A little bit off the bottom right there. Uh, sometimes you just wanna kill it because it won't cut right. Okay, so we did one side. Then we're going to create like a strip that looks like it's going to be about a half an inch wide. Okay. Sometimes you learn, like when you're in the process of making it, whether you're supposed to push or pull, you know? Okay. So then we have our sentiment. And we can put that, where are we going to put it? Should we put it here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some, I'm going to cut it at the end, like so. I'm going to put it right there like that. So what I'm going to do to adhere it down is I'm going to use this pen that I used yesterday that has the real fine glue first and I'm just going to put glue little dots of it behind the words mm -hmm. sorry I gotta focus you know how it goes Sip, sip, hooray. It's so cute, right? Okay. And then we're going to put it here and stick it down like so. Okay. Then we'll snip off that edge there. Okay. Okay. So then we have our sentiment on the front of the card. We don't, we can just write a message on the inside. Let me see how we're doing here. Oh, it's setting up quite nicely, actually. I find there's certain brands that dry faster. I don't know why, they just do. <laughs> so. Next, last but not least, I need to get my straws in here. 
and I'm going to pick which side. Let's see here. I want it to be straighter. Let's see if I can do that. Doesn't want it. Let's see here. Maybe I can straighten. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. As I said before now, we're going to want to adhere it behind the drink and behind this part right there. So we're going to flip it over and we'll create like a little design. I'm pretty, I got it. I kind of just got to hope that it fits, that it works. You know what I mean? And we're going to put some glue down. a nice big puddle of it you know and then this is gonna go there like that and then we'll do oh wait we forgot to put some under here and then we'll put this one here next to it and I'll try and figure out. Okay. <laughs> it's the only card you can get splinters from, I'm just saying. That's funny. Okay, and then we're going to put a little bit. I'm going to eyeball where I want it, where I saw it. And I liked it. And put that down there. And we're going to let that sit for a minute and hope. I think it'll be fine. Anyway. How does the art glitter glue look behind vellum? Let's see. Um, scissors. <laughs> you ask, you shall receive. So here we've got it that we, I just put a bunch of the art glitter glue, I put it on the vellum, I put the vellum on the paper, I'm going to squish it in so that we have the best chance of it being clear. <laughs> this is the perfect time to experiment with things like this, isn't it? Okay, so then we got to let it dry. For a minute. Now I didn't have glitter. I didn't clearly there wasn't glue there. So I think you could probably put the only problem is is it makes it so you see through it better. You know, so you don't have that same uh what do you call it? A lot of times you use the vellum to make it so the pattern isn't so busy and that wouldn't be the case with this but that doesn't mean you couldn't put like a little dot on each corner or something like that that would work but then again this is also wet so maybe we can Oh, there we go. Look at that. It's drying. There you go. Ah, uh, there. See? So it did dry. That's pretty good. So, so yeah, it works. It's a little hot right now, but okay. So now let's see how our drink is. Too bad it's not a real drink, right? Now we got to put our little strawberry on there. It's going on there whether it likes it or not. It doesn't even matter if it looks good. 
How can it not look good? Let's get a little strawberry. There we go. A little strawberry on there. So I do recommend the Art Glitter Glue. I purchased it. I've, I've bought a, lot, a bunch of it different times because before winter, you can only have it shipped if it's a certain temperature out. And I think that's because it has a pretty high water content. Um, but I buy the big bottle, which is, let me show you. This, I buy this bottle and I get it on Amazon. And then I refill this and then I have somewhere I have a smaller one. I don't know where it is. But yeah, you can buy this size. Here, I've got all the different sizes. <laughs> so I would recommend getting this larger one and then refilling containers because it's a little bit cheaper price point. But I have to say, I think that I looked at the prices of the of the glues, right? And this seems like it costs more because of how much you pay. But you're buying 16 ounces here. And that's a lot of glue. Whereas if you're going to buy like a 16 ounce bottle of, if you're, well, not even that. Most of the glue, like these little, um, and I, this is perfectly good glue. I love my Lawn Fawn glue. It's awesome for traveling, right? Um, but this is, how many ounces is this? Does it say? Okay, so this is a half an ounce. So, and this, so it's a ha it's a half an ounce. I believe it's like four fifty. So, do the math, right? <laughs> so half an ounce. So thirty two of them go in here. So thirty two times four is like a hundred and twenty dollars. Is that right? Let me think. That is right. So yeah. So so this is really cheap. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I think this was in the $20 range, $25, $23, something like that for this big, huge bottle. Um, the tips cost a little more, but you know, you just, I only have two that I have one on this bottle and one on a little bit smaller bottle, a two ounce bottle. And um, I, uh, I just wash it with water. It just washes with water. Let me, I'm sorry, I'm not in frame. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. I really like it. That is amazing. How I didn't realize the math. <laughs> okay. So so yeah. So here's the card. What's I wish I could I need to get an angle so that I can show you the front of it. Let me see if I can try this, okay? If it were, I don't know if it'll work or not, but let's see here. 